email is, is, is fantastic because it actually represents a host of bits of computer science all converging in interesting ways. And I think there are lots of computer science that's in the simple act of sending an email. The level and amount of email that we deal with, so it's something like 2.8 million emails per second. So just if you just think about that number and think of what that means, it's the amount of email that gets sent and flows around the world all the time. When you write an email, how does the computer know it's a message? And what does it do with it? What's great about this example, I think, is that it shows the ways in which computers deal with complexity. What's important, because there's so many email messages, is that it has to deal with those things very, very quickly. So there's a standard for email which splits email up. A bunch of it is header information and another part's body. So why is that important? Well, header is what the computer processes. Body is the message that you read. All the fields that you see that say from, to, date, ID. So you would say from Tom to Bob. So that's the bit that parses for addresses and looks at. Now parsing is the way the computer looks for specific special words and special symbols. So it knows when it finds from colon, that's going to be an address, and two colons going to be addressed. That is a specific character which says taking a new line. And it knows that if there are two of those, that it's now a body. And it knows there will be a specific marker called end of file marker at the end. So it's got a really simple way of finding information. And that simplicity makes it very, very fast. All of this is what's called ASCII text. It's all human readable and it only uses those 128 original characters that were used by computer systems. Okay, so this is understood by all machines and human readable, which was really important in the early days of these systems. Whenever they'd go wrong, you'd want to be able to read and find out why. So this has persisted as the standard for sending email. How does that work though, when you think about some of the things that you send by email. How do you do bold text? How do you send an image? How do you send a picture using this? Okay, or how might you send attachments using this? Computer science does an awful lot of what's called abstraction and extension. And the way you deal with that is you add on to this an additional way of handling this. So currently this body is of no interest at all to a computer processing system. They introduced a way to tag in the header that what was in the body could be processed by the computer as well. So they developed a system called MIME, which is a multimedia extension. And MIME then signals that inside this body, you will actually have another layer of encoding. So when you deliver the message, something else can look inside that message and then understand that what's in there are pictures, images, file attachments as well. And MIME has its own language for doing that and for describing that. That itself is based upon a previous system called UUEncode, which means Unix to Unix encoding, which is the way in which you'd actually take um, files and represent them as characters. So imagine you had a bit of a file. This would translate to A, and this would translate to C. You would then have A and C, which you could then translate back into that binary encoding. So what happens in UUEncode is it says begin, details, end, and the program knows that all that ASCII that's in there has to be read as ASCII and then translated to that raw text.